Good morning, family. I'm back again. Amen. Uh, this is our reading for July 27th, titled Watching and Waiting. And our scripture lesson is Matthew 24, verse 42. And it says, Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Amen. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, this morning once more for your blessing and your healing, for your restoration, for your strength, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, so much for your joys, our joys, Lord, and thank you, Abba Father, for keeping us through our sorrows. Lord, your continued blessing and healing upon this space here. Lord, uh, I just want to just say thank you. As Psalm 100 says, verse 4, as you enter into his gates, enter with thanksgiving. Amen. And enter his courts with praise. So, Abba Father, thank you this morning. Praise you this morning. Many, many thanks and praise, Lord. And I'm not the only one that have them, Abba Father. Lord, my YouTube family, I present to you as well. And I ask, Lord, that their thanks and their praise will be a part of their entrance into the gates and into the courts with praise. May we all greet you, Abba Father, by your grace, with thanksgiving and praise as we come before you. Amen. Amen. Whew. The Lord just gave me our song. It's called Come Before You, and it's by um, Sandy Patty. So uh, it's on our playlist, Come Before You, Come Before You, a very jubilant and lively song. So enjoy it, family. Okay, amen. And welcome, everyone, to my YouTube channel, this space here that God has given us to share together, to grow in to um, share our prayer requests, our concerns, and all of those things. And so uh, this morning, I uh, just want to thank God for his goodness and his mercy towards us with um, our prayer um, requests for Pastor Williams and little Annie and Pastor Kibble, and then there's Tony and... Um, the young lady who said, I know somebody's praying for me. And um, um, also, I would like to add to that list one of um, our uh, faithful subscribers here. Uh, her name is uh, Martina, and Martina has been having some uh, pain in her body. And she has also asked for... Uh, that the Lord would um, show her what um, her path, I guess, would be the words, um, his presence in her life. So um, there may be other people out there like Martin and that feel the same way, um, wanting to hear from the Lord in such a manner. So Abba Father, uh, I ask for all of those, Lord, and all of us, because we are a group of people here before you, Lord, that any of us that are questioning or not sure about where we're standing or what we're supposed to be doing, Lord, and there all may also may be some who are meeting you for the first time and getting an understanding of this great God that we talk about, the God of the universe who gave up his son, who sent his son here, Lord, to, to exchange his life for ours and meet the grave in hell so that we don't have to, Lord. Father, thank you for um, sending your son and thank you Jesus for being willing to come and thank you Jesus for leaving us the Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us and teaches us about your way and then where we all can commune with you on a personal level 
Lord, you have covered us on every end. So thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Bless us and heal us all, Lord. Touch us here. Touch us up here, Lord, and heal us here so that life can come forth from here, from our eyes, our ears, our mouths, our hand. Lord, our feet, where we go, what we do, what we say. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Amen. Watching and waiting. Watching and waiting, July the 27th. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Matthew 24, 42. As I listened to our pastor's closing story in his sermon one morning at church about anxiously watching and waiting for his parents to come home from a day of shopping, I was reminded of a something similar from my childhood. My favorite cousin lived in another state, but quite often she came to visit. We loved to spend time together as our grand parents at our grandparents' house. Our grandfather was still working and he rode the city bus back and forth to work. Every afternoon, when we knew it was time for him to arrive on the bus, we would station ourselves on the front sidewalk to watch for him. The bus was about a block and a half away, but we would, could look down the sidewalk and see the bus pass by. Sometimes it was right on times. Sometimes it was late and we would have to amuse ourselves in some way. But we always kept a watchful eye for the bus. Finally, it would come and our grandfather would get off and start walking home. As soon as my cousin and I saw him, we would run as fast as we could down the sidewalk to meet him. What a happy time we had walking back home with Grandpa. As I listened to our pastor's story and thought about this from my childhood, I wondered whether I was really waiting anxiously for Jesus to come. I have believed in the second coming all of Jesus all my life. Amen. I have never for one moment doubted that it will happen someday. I remember sitting in an adult Bible study class many years ago, and the teacher asked, how do we know Jesus will come back? A simple question, but everyone sat there quietly and said nothing. Finally, my husband answered, he will come back because he promised he would, amen. Of course, Jesus tells us, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. John 14, verse three in the New Testament. As I write this, it has been an unusual year. We have experienced a worldwide pandemic the news has told us about unprecedented fires, hurricane, civil unrest, and other disasters, correction, hurricanes. I hope and pray that I, that as I watch these events unfold, I will be reminded anew to watch and wait for Jesus as anxiously as I did for my grandfather years ago. Amen, amen, and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Our reading for today was written by Sharon Oster. Amen. And you know, this story also brought memories back for me. I'm not gonna be long, oh my goodness. Um, I had a, an uncle that we used to visit, my sister and I, and he would come home the same thing catching the bus. And we would wait until we saw him walking down the street. Sometimes he made it all the way home if we weren't outside. But every day when he would come home, when we were there, he would walk us to the store. 
And we would be able to get, you know, a piece of candy or something or whatever, or ice cream or something. And um, But we would eat it before we got back home uh, where my aunt had prepared dinner. But this story made me think about that. So I thank the Lord um, for precious memories here. And I tell you, it does uh, mind us. I love what her husband said. He said he will come back because he promised. And um, what a fitting answer. Um, because I do believe myself in the second coming of Jesus Christ. And this is making me more mindful uh, to, uh, you know, sometimes you just get that refreshment. And so I thank the Lord for the blessing, especially the personal uh, blessing of this reading today. So um, I'm going to sign off now. And um, I told you our, our song has come before him by Sandy Patty. And uh, just enjoy family and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Today is Thursday, July 27th. This is Miss Norma, and I'm signing off. And by his grace, I will see you all on tomorrow. And by his grace, even further, um, now that I've figured out what's happening with my iPad, um, I'm going to see about getting it corrected, but um, no more missed audios. Amen. I love you, family. Have a wonderful day. But remember, best and most of all, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves you the best and the most. And he proved it because he came here and he hung on the cross for you and for me and open up the gates of heaven so that we could be with him um, at the appointed time at his second coming. Thank you, family. Thank you for the sharing. Thank you for the love. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Oops, I love you, too, and so does he. Amen.